We have a question from Ahmed, and he's uh, qu uh, two questions. One, I haven't heard you talk much about weighted pull-ups and chin-ups. Well, then you haven't listened to everything I've ever said, obviously. How do you use them in your training or coaching? Mostly I only use them, well, with the athletes I tend to work with, there's no need for weighted pull-ups, weighted chin-ups. I'm always the smallest guy in the room. Uh, but when I work with something, I'm getting somebody ready for a kettlebell surge or something like that, then uh, it becomes a really important thing because it's in some time, it depends on what surge is, but they're tested on the way to pull up. Um, there are upsides and downsides to the way to pull ups. Um, certainly never fail when you do them, but let's move on to your questions. What kind of performance benefits have you noticed in athletes who've improved this exercise? Now, you said athletes. Uh, I know it helps javelin throwers. It seems to help swimmers, but I have never seen a one-to-one -one improvement. It doesn't mean they're bad. It's just I haven't seen it. And do you have a standard for this exercise, similar to standards of be able to strip press one times body weight and deadlift double? Well, I mean, I would just use the standards we use at the Russian kettlebell certification. You know, I mean, I think uh, I if you're a, a, a man, um, you should be able to do a pull-up uh, certainly a chin up, but a pull up with 24 kilos hanging around your waist. If you're older than 55, I'd say 20. Um, I just think that gives you a nice little margin of error. But again, I I don't have any. I don't have a dog in this race or whatever the cliche is. Uh, 